Two-handed over-the-head rebounds can be executed by the Class 2 player, but these are often accompanied by a moderate loss of stability. The Class 2 player usually rebounds with one hand with minimal to moderate loss of stability. Similar to Class 1 players, minimal chair contact when both hands are off the wheels will cause Class 2 players to lose their balance when shooting and passing, forcing them to use their hands to recover. Also, like Class 1 players, Class 2 players usually rebound with one hand so that they can stabilize themselves with the other, and even minimum chair contact will significantly affect their ability to control the ball and to continue the play. Rosalina Barrera of Brazil is a good example of a Class 3 player. Typical of the Class 3 player, Rosalina is able to position herself in the best pushing position and can push the wheelchair forcefully with no loss of stability. Notice that she falls through with her arms more than a Class 1 or 2 player. She is very quick and powerful and maintains good balance when stopping. This pushing movement is not much different between players of the 3.0, 3.5, 4.0, and 4.5 categories. So pushing and stopping are really only useful in differentiating between players in the 1.0 to 3.0 categories. Note that most Class 3 players' knees are together when they push, but there can be exceptions. Rosalina's knees are apart but this does not affect the classic trunk position of the Class 3 player. As a Class 3 player, Rosalina can dribble the ball in front of the casters with one hand while accelerating quickly by pushing forcefully with the other hand. She can switch hands across the front of the chair without having to check her balance and her trunk flexes powerfully forward in the direction of the dribble. The Class 3 player can make two and one-handed passes without using arm or back support to maintain their balance. Rosalena is able to make strong passes because her trunk flexes forward with each pass. This movement is possible because the Class 3 player has some pelvic control. However, because a Class 3 player does not have complete balance to the sides, Rosalina typically balances herself with her non-throwing hand when making overhand passes. Class 3 players can get near maximal rotation to catch over-the-shoulder passes with both hands without support of the back of the wheelchair. There is some difference between Class 2 and Class 3 players in shooting. The Class 3 player's trunk moves toward the basket with the shooting movement and follows through with excellent stability. The Class 3 player can rebound well with two hands overhead. However, this player has limited stability when reaching to the side and often holds the side of the wheelchair with the off hand for balance. Unlike Class 1 and 2 players, Class 3 players are not very affected by minimum chair contact when they have both hands away from the wheels. Here is Gilberto Hernandez of Mexico, a Class 4 player. Pushing is not a good indicator of the difference between a Class 3 player and a Class 4 player. The Class 4 player can push the wheelchair with rapid acceleration and maximum forward movement of the trunk. Gilberto is very stable as he makes his turns. The Class 4 player's ability to dribble is not much different than a 3.0, 3.5 or even a 4.5 player. Gilberto can dribble well ahead of the front casters while pushing with the other hand and can move rapidly and change direction without loss of trunk stability. 
Gilberto, much like the class three player, has no problem in changing hands across the front of the chair while dribbling because he has strong balance from side to side. So although this alone does not differentiate Gilberto from a class three player, it does distinguish him from class 1.0 to class 2.5 players. Gilberto, as a class four player, can flex, extend and rotate his trunk fully while making two-handed and one-handed passes. Typically, a class four player has very good balance when making a two-handed pass or catch to the sides. However, these players are usually weaker on one side. Notice that Gilberto has some difficulty catching on his weaker left side, but is very stable when catching a ball thrown off to his right. Class 4 player can lean to the side or rotate while leaning to at least one side while keeping both hands up as he or she holds the ball. After shooting, the class 4 player's trunk moves strongly in the direction of the follow through. Gilberto is a typical class 4 player in that he is able to lean forward and at least to one side to grab an over the head rebound with both hands. Watch as he solidly makes rebounds to his stronger right side, but has some difficulty on his weaker left side. Class 4 players are hardly affected by minimum chair contact when they have both hands off their wheels. Canada's René Delcal is a 4.5 player. The difference between a class 4.5 player and a 3.0, 3.5 or a 4.0 player in pushing style is that the 4.5 player is able to remain very high in the chair while still maintaining excellent balance in the classic pushing position. As a classifier, you will not notice much difference between the dribbling ability of a 3.0, 3.5, 4.0, or a 4.5 player. Like the others, the 4.5 player moves the ball from side to side in front of the chair with great stability. Notice that Renee moves in a straighter line than the other players you've seen as she dribbles and changes hands. This is because she has total trunk and pelvic control. Watch as Renee makes chest passes. Her back is not against the back of the chair at all. She follows the ball with her trunk and has total balance in the chair. A class 4.5 player can lean and make two-handed passes equally well on either side with great stability. Even as Renee makes a baseball pass, we can see she has complete balance throughout the motion. Notice that the 4.5 player has no difficulty in catching balls thrown to either side whether they be high or low throws. This player also has no problem when catching balls thrown very low in front of them. Class 4.5 players can move the trunk forcefully in all directions when shooting. These players can also lean to both sides and lean with rotation to both sides while keeping both hands on the ball. Renee, as a 4.5 player, possesses sufficient function in her legs to move them apart, giving her excellent stability. This allows her to move with complete balance forward or to either side, with her arms above her head when rebounding. Chair contact, unless it's very hard, will have little effect on a class 4.5 player. This player can adjust immediately and continue their pass, shot, or rebound. Whether you are a new classifier, player, or coach, we hope that this video has been a helpful introduction to the International Wheelchair Basketball Federation's player classification system, and that it has taught you how to identify functional abilities for athletes in class 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4.5.
The IWBF player classification system is a living system based on the basic principles of observation of the wheelchair basketball skills that the players perform. In order to be a competent classifier, it is of the utmost importance to know all the wheelchair basketball skills and how they are performed by the different classes of players. A classifier must not just know the skills and observe them, but must also regularly practice the art of classification. Thank you.